This is me. I'm really swollen in the cheek. I've been bitten by some sort of uh, bug or something like that during the night. So my cheek is so swollen. So I decided to do a quick video today. Uh, this is one of my absolute favorite books in Herbal Magic. And you can see and find uh, even tarot cards and all the hermetic principles in here. And uh, then there we have this one that is that I truly enjoy. It's the witchcraft medicine, uh, shamanic practices, and forbidden plants. I got book reviews on both of these before, so I just show why I like them. And here's the bibliography. And if there is one book where you can find sources from uh, scholars that are free, then it's this book. And it's uh, really a great book. But I'm only sad that it's about the um, German side and the Norse more than anything else. And now how I use the books. As you probably guessed, I'm quite a horse girl. And I studied as a veterinary assistant. So here we come how I started working with plants like with poisoning and for the poisoning. And uh, like they are some things there. So I learned to find uh, plants in all kinds of books. And then, of course, we had these books like Pharmacology as well. This one is for humans, but you got off. At that time, during the 80s, we had a lot of similar books for the veterinary, <laughs> veterinary as for humans. So this is an easy course on. Uh, but here you can find... And I'm going to show you a chapter on a thing that I get blocked. I can't put the videos up, I've tried. But you can see here. I'm not a, uh, what is it called? A person who says no to everything. Except for the hard, hard things that destroy lives. But here is, and through these books compared with a field guide and once you get the system, that's when I really start to learn how the plants are and get a connection with the plants. And that's when you can read the old herbal field guides and old medicine and truly, truly get involved. <laughs> And here are some of my old. I can't remember which book I pulled this from. It's from my school work, if you say it like that. I'm not sure how it shows up. But I can't speak about this subject, it gets blocked and uh, I got a warning, so. So if you can send me an email if there is something, I don't know much about it uh, since I don't use them myself, but maybe I know which plant is really dangerous and which isn't. And I just wanted to show you that there are so many different ways to learn how to use magic and how to connect and I'm an analytical person so when I look at things like this and here are a lot of resources and since pharmacology students also uh, post their uh, papers that they, they publish them on internet all of them and they have websites I guess um, after, so that they get good grades and everything so Everything is on the internet and they don't usually charge anything so you can see us uh, what they've learned.
true study. So this is just one way of making understanding of the beautiful, beautiful blessing we have from nature. And that might give you some very inspiring ideas how to make everything you learn, make it your own, find your own way. And you connect with the spirits that you are meant to and you evolve and that's all I care about just that you get strong and that you think for yourself and never we all doubt ourselves sometimes but uh, listen to your soul and there is only one sin that is a sin in my uh, world view and that is lying to yourself We often do that, we say that we are less uh, unworthy or whatever it is, but if we keep a promise to ourselves, then we keep a promise towards God. So why should God listen to our promises if we can't even keep our promises to my, ourselves? So that was a little bit of my own views. And uh, this was just a... In case I can't upload, then you know my cheek gets even more swollen. Uh, have a magical, magical day. Bye for now.